Welcome to AFC RD TV. I'm here at Hayden Road after tonight's 4 0 win for the Diamonds in the uh, Southern Premier Challenge Cup second round against uh, Yaxley. And I'm here now with uh, no doubt a delighted manager, Andy Peaks. Andy, um, you wanted a reaction after Saturday. I suppose we weren't that disappointed after Saturday because they were a very good team. But you got what you wanted. You've made some changes and uh, it works out again. Yeah, no, I was happy to win the game, obviously. Uh, made a few changes. We said we were going to. Uh, I wasn't particularly happy at half time because I thought we were playing well within ourselves and being honest. Um, I thought we, the goal we did score was a great goal, great movement, great finish. So I was happy with that. But I thought in general we were a little bit careless with the ball. Um, and I thought we could have been a little bit better. I know the conditions weren't great. The pitch was very, very heavy. Um, not ideal, but I just thought we were a little bit sloppy on the ball. Um, I thought we were a little bit deep at times. Um, and I just felt we could raise it a lot second half and I'm fairness to the boys they did um, my remit before the game was let's go into Saturday's game with a lot of confidence based on tonight I wanted a clean sheet they've got that um, and I thought the last half an hour particularly we really hit the tempo and, and, and done what we do best Remain a bit of Saturday I think uh, the uh, final third the delivery again decision making yeah, I said that's something we could learn from from Saturday because ours was nowhere near good enough Saturday and theirs was particularly good. Um, what I liked about them was their movement was fantastic all through and they were clinical really and we've seen that a few times here as well, you've got to be clinical. So that's something we can work on and I thought we got better as it went on tonight. Um, and you say, you know, I want to keep the tempo even when you're in front rather than just sitting there and waiting for it to happen. Let's go and get another one. Um, and we did that and the second goal was going to be vital. Um, fantastic finish. Shame it fell to Hicks and we're going to hear about it forever. But <laughs> yeah, no, a great finish, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think the chairman's taking credit for Nat's uh, first goal because he gave him a team talk and the, uh, a pep talk. Well, uh, from Newcastle. Well, but it was great. He had a good first half, didn't he? He got lots yeah. of space. And, yeah. uh, no, Nat did well first half. Well, he double all. You know, he's, he's been out of it for a little while. He come back in. Um, you know, that would do his confidence good. Um, there was a few pluses. I thought Jesse done well. He came in. Um, we've got, obviously, Dovey coming back from injury. We got him through an hour. We've got Jordan through a good spell of the game. You know, his hamstring was tight up till recently and he's got through a lot tonight, so that's a plus. Um, yeah, I thought, I thought there was a lot of positives. And Paddy as well. I thought he had a good, a good game as well. Yeah, Pad, yeah, Paddy come back in. He was perhaps a little bit unfortunate. He'd played a couple of games. Then we had the Bromsgrove defeat and a couple of bits after and he's come out of it for a little while, but he's still in and around it. I keep saying we've got a squad that's all going to play the part. Some of the younger ones. And like I said, it was good to to get him through the game. It's brilliant to see Will Jones come on and cause a few problems near the end. Um, so, yeah, I think there was a lot of pluses. Yeah, uh, Dobby nearly made it 2-0. He missed them near the thing, but then the goal. I, know, I was saying over there, no, I actually swore and said, we're never going to hear the last of that. It was a special goal. Yeah. I, I can't imagine that uh, Matt Hawkins actually got that on picture because it flew into the net, didn't it? It was, yeah, less hopefully nobody got it um, on camera or pictures. <laughs> but no, it was a great strike and we needed it really because I said at 1-0, I always felt we the dominant team as I expected us to be. Um, but you never know at 1-0, anything can happen, a deflection, a bad decision and all of a sudden it's going to be one all and it's been game on then. And then I've had the tails up. So the second goal for me was really important. Um, and from that, I thought from that point on, we really controlled the game and we looked great. I thought Nab's coming on, give us something a little bit different as well. It was good to see him back. Um, so yeah, loads of positives. And then Ben got a couple of goals, which again will do his confidence really, really good. Yeah, I mean, he took him well. He's uh, he's had a few chances this season, hasn't quite made it, but uh, went round the keeper for the fourth. And uh, yeah, that should help him spare him on as well. Yeah, I think today was about you know gaining some confidence back, um, and we've done that. Uh, we've progressed in the next round of the cup, which is really important for me. Um, we've seen a lot of players get some minutes. Uh, we've given a couple of players some time off, some rest. Um, so yeah, I would say it ticked a lot of the boxes. So I was a little bit disappointed first half. I told him at half time, but I've got a reaction from him second half. Uh, I thought it was a lot, lot better second half. So uh, that's obviously leave the game behind us just a couple of points. I mean, Alex Gullard obviously took a, an injury on Saturday. That looks uh, quite long term. I know he's on crutches tonight. So. Yeah, that's a blow because he's been fantastic since I've got to love Alex. Um, so hopefully he won't be too long. He's going to wait. He's going to hopefully get a scan in the next week or so, which will tell us a lot, lot more. Um, he's got it blocking the ball, so he's obviously twisted his knee. So it's going to be ligaments, so I guess, of some description. It's just how bad and how quickly we can get it sorted, we don't know. But we wish him well. I'm sure he'll be in and around the place because he likes being at the club and he's a top lad. So he'll be in and around and we wish him, you know, hopefully a speedy recovery. you got Nat in, uh, sorry, Nabil in, you mentioned him. And uh, you've got four different strikers now, different, uh, different quartets that you had at the start. Yeah, I think we've, yeah, I think we've got five, if you include. You know, William will come on as well. Um, True. But yeah, no, we've got different options. And that's important. Uh, we know what Nabs brings to the club. You know, we've all, on me, and certainly a lot of people here are big admirers of him. He left the club for the right reasons um, to plant, try and play higher. Um, there's been options to get him back in the last 12 months. It's not quite worked out. We've been on a good run and bits and bobs. 
Um, but it was the right time, and I think you know he's going to be a massive addition to us for the remainder of the season. Hopefully, you know next season as well because he brings something different to the table. Um, so that's a massive plus for, for, for the club, I think. And of course, we've uh, well the news today was uh, Morgan Roberts isn't returning. He's gone to Bambi. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, no, disappointing really because I said that I'd like to keep him. Um, I'm Ryan, really, for another month. Um, Ryan will be coming back once he's fit. Um, Morgan, they talked about keeping there. Um, and then they decide he's going to go up to Banbury. Now, I don't know the ins and outs of it particularly, um, whether it's a financial thing or whether it's just to go and play football with his brother. Obviously, his brother plays, kind of plays for there. Uh, I don't know. He's, he's sent me a message, said, I want you to do his time at the club and how he felt he progressed as a player. Um, which, which is good, but obviously for us it's, it's a blow losing him because he's been good. But you know that is football, as we all know, um, and this club will survive you know, without Morgan for the time being, and, and we'll carry on. And I think the other thing is it gives you is we can actually players who are actually going to be here permanently. Yeah, I mean I think loan players are great, and I think served a purpose at the right time. Um, but like you said, you're in the risk really. Even if I took Morgan another month, you're in the risk that they could take him back at any point, um, which is not always ideal. Um, and I get that, and they have in-house games as well, so we can always train. Uh, I think they're, they're right when the time's right, but I think at the moment we've got enough players around the club, um, and we'll carry on regardless. And on to our church, that'll be a difficult game. I think it's got to remember the slope, I seem to remember from last season. Yeah, I'm not particularly sure what it's going to be like there, um, certainly with all the rain and wet conditions. I'm um, expecting a tough game. You know, We know this league now, every game's tough. If you're not at it and you've not got nine or ten players at the best of their ability, it becomes a long afternoon. Uh, for me, it's about bouncing back. We so say we got defeated last week. We've, we've won tonight, which is good. We'll train Thursday. Um, I'll have a full report on Alf Church tomorrow morning because I know they're at Tamworth tonight. Um, and we'll, we'll pick a team ready to go and get some points and get us in and around the playoffs again. All right, mate. Thanks a lot. Good result tonight. Cheers. Thank you. All right, thank you, John and Andy. I'm now here with Darren's man of the match, Ben Akwai. Ben, we have to be patient to get our goals tonight, but ultimately our patience paid off. What do yeah. you think of the performance? They were very good side, I think. Um, they made it hard for us in the game. Um, we have to be patient, wait for our chances to come, and uh, like Pixie and Champ said, just keep going, keep going, and the goals will come, and they came. So, yeah, it's good. Obviously, it's not easy conditions to play, and it's yeah. cold, it's a heavy pitch. Does that affect your your t playing style as a team in any way? Do you still want to play your way? Yeah, it does, because like, your passes, when you pass on the pitch, it bubbles, that like you have to make sure you fizz it in, the pass is good, the weight on the ball is good, so I think we've done really well tonight, yeah. Obviously from your perspective, we, I saw a lot of you um, sort of drifted into the half spaces and driving with the ball, is that something that you feel is one of your major strengths? Yeah, that's one of my major strengths, I'd say um, I like driving at defenders and taking them on, creating opportunities for the team to score goals and that's what I want to do, yeah. Obviously, Hicksy would probably claim his goal the best of the night, but <laughs> has he already started with yeah, it? Yeah, he's, he's talking about it all the time. Yeah, he's loving it. He's loving it. Well, I've got to say, I thought your two goals were both brilliant team yeah. moves and two good finishes from you. What would you say? You. What would you make of your goals? I'll say um, the first one, I think I sliced it a bit, but you know, I'll take it. Second one, I saw the keep, um, keeper coming towards me. I thought, hit around him and yeah, uh, easy tackle for me. How difficult is it having the sort of Tuesday Saturday cycle of games? Because I think a lot of people underestimate how difficult that may yeah, be. Yeah, because when you play on Saturday, you want to make sure your, your body's ready for um, Tuesday. You have to recover right, so ice baths, um, going to the gym, doing a bit of cycling, and making sure you're ready for the next game. Brilliant. So obviously we've got our church next, and then we've got a couple of home games after that. Yeah. Obviously tonight's one will be a massive confidence boost. Are you confident we can get a few wins from those? Yeah, I think tonight we had to win the game. Um, you know, to take us to our church and make sure we're confident right from the get go and make sure. You know, keep us up. Brilliant. Well, we'll play tonight. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank